hashtag YouTube. Hi. Okay, so you know how in YouTube videos, no one ever really knows where the subscribe button is or the little annotation thing? What I did was I took a card and I drew on it and then I cut a hole in the center and this looks like the YouTube thing. However, um, that didn't work. My camera switches it around. It's got like a mirror function in the rear view, the rear view mirror, the rear view screen, uh, which messes everything up. So what I did and what did work is I took, I took this drawing and I reversed it on the back. So now this has two functions, right? Um, I can show this side. I don't know if you can see, I wrote subscribe backwards. Uh, I can show this side while I'm recording and it'll, I can point to the subscribe button, but then I can also show this side, the right way around side and check the video to see if I did it right by holding it over the little rear view screen. Okay, watch, 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 watch. Sound in the frame. Watch, watch, watch. There's an annotation here and the subscribe button is right there, right there. Hopefully that worked. Okay. Um, yeah, that's just what I've been doing. <laughs> Hi. Um, so what I did here is I got an adapter in the mail today and I put my, I plugged my projector here into the uh, HDMI out of my camera, which has been doing this really cool. So I can do like this cool effects and whatever. I can also use my projector as a monitor and uh, check focus out on that if I really wanted to. See? Oh, it's already recording. Uh, that's, oh, that looks bad. Got a list today from me, hashtag Relatable internet per, 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 per personality. Um, most questions that people ask you online are uh, technical questions about filmmaking or vlogging or video stuff like, oh, what kind of editing software do you use or your camera, or your mic or whatever. But here's some actual things that you that actually matter, okay? One, never apologize for your show before the audience sees it. You think you're bracing them, but you're actually putting them on edge. Most audiences never care about the huge flaw that you noticed when you were making it and that you now can't change. No one cares about that thing and most people don't notice it. So if you say, oh man, I'm sorry, the audio gets really weird at three minutes and 15 seconds, no one would have noticed that probably. And by apologizing, you put yourself on the defensive before the programs even started. Number two, you can put any kind of weird garbage on the internet and no one cares. This can be very freeing, but at the same time, no one is obligated to like your work because there is so much garbage available. Three, people are weirder and more private about being filmed in the country versus in the city. Um, but people in the city will yell at you if they don't wanna be filmed. Also, they have knives sometimes. Next. Make sure the mic's on. Okay, oh, yeah, it's, it's on. Okay, we're good. Uh, the next one. You look less crazy talking to a camera than you do walking along talking to yourself. This is something that happens to me all the time. I am walking along and I have a thought and I'm trying to like figure it out by listening to myself say it. And I realized that I look less crazy talking to a camera than I do just walking around mumbling. Um, Actually, instead of, if you, if you add a camera into the mix, instead of looking crazy, you just look vain, vain. Part two, page two of these lists of things for YouTube tips, hashtag, hashtag YouTube. Leave them wanting more. 
Soundtracks bl br Soundtracks brighten the most boring vlog, which is true. Don't contribute to the myth of inspiration. Just do stuff. Work at it. Inspiration is just as fake as superstition. Um, there is no such thing as a, as a lightning bolt idea coming down and hitting you in the head. And if you're like me before I started this, you really believe that you just have to wait till you're inspired to make a video. But I have made decent videos every day for the last 260 something days. Uh, and none of them have been inspired by anything other than a need to, like a, like a work thing, like getting something done every day. <sighs> a quote from my cinematography teacher, David Crampton. These are tools for you to use. This is something that I think about all the time. It's epitomized in the phrase, don't baby your camera, but the last time I said that, I dropped my camera and it broke. It was uh, don't so like don't destroy your camera, but if you keep your camera in a in a, like a, a bag Like if you have a camera bag and you keep your bag camera in there all the time it takes like s At least 16 seconds to get it out of the bag and start shooting whereas if you're carrying it around in your hand all the time that time is made very tiny <laughs> um, But also it just, like, this just keeps coming around to, to this feeling of preciousness. Like, don't be too precious about your equipment, because it's equipment. Um, but also, don't be too precious about things you're comfortable doing. The best videos that I see out there, and I'm not saying that I'm any good at this, but the best videos that I see out there are people getting outside their comfort zones, which sounds like a thing you would read on an inspirational poster, but there you go. It's true. Uh, next. There are tons of paper clips and pennies and rubber bands on the ground. This doesn't, this doesn't, you won't find this on any filmmaking vlog, but there are tons of pennies and paper clips and rubber bands and like pens on the ground. So keep your eyes open and put those things in your pocket. You will need a rubber band or a penny or a paper clip so much more often than you really expect. Um, the last one, now that I'm a little manic, is get business cards made up because people want to know what the name of your vlog website is. Like people are always asking me, oh, what's the name of your vlog? And I have to tell them savethecroissants.com. So it is way easier for everyone if I just, where the hell is it? So it's way easier for everyone if I just give them a card with my logo and my website printed on the back. Um. Yeah, that's it for YouTube tips. Now let's hear some crazy thoughts. Are you ready? You ready for some crazy thoughts? I'm thinking of doing a Q&A, so if you have questions about what I'm doing, or if you want to do it too, or if you want to know something, uh, send it in in a comment with the, like, put a little hashtag in there, like, question. Yeah and I'll, I'll, I'll look at those. Normally I just answer questions people ask me just in the comments. I just answer them. Um, but I get real rambly, you know? All right.